Binyamin Ze'evi Atraf. Binyamin is like a predatory wolf. Baboker Yochal Ad, in the morning he'll eat his prey. Ve'ula'erav Yechalik Shalal, and in the evening he'll divide up his um, spoils. Kol Ela Shivte Israel, that concludes the list of the tribes of Israel. Shnei Masar, the twelve. Vizot Asher Diber Lahem Avihem, and this is what their father spoke unto them. Vayivarechotam, and he blessed them. Ish Asher Kibirchato Birechotam, he gave each one the bracha that was appropriate for him. Vayitzavotam, and he and he commanded them. Vayomer Aleim, and he said to them, Anina Esaf Elami, I'm going to be gathered to my nation. Kivruoti, meaning I'm going to die. Kivruoti Elavotai. Um, bury me with my fathers, al ma'ara asher b'se Ephron hachiti, in the cave that is in the field of Ephron lachiti. But ma'ara asher b'se amachpela asher al p'nei ma'amre b'eretz kinan. So back in Parshat Chayi Sarah, we had a whole story where Avram bought this ma'ara tamachpela in Hebron from Ephron hachiti, um, in the fields of, uh, in, by the place of, by the property of Mamre in the land of Kanaan, Asher Kana Avram and Hasadem made Ephron hachiti lachuzak hebra, that Avram bought from Ephron hachiti as a burial holding. Shama Kavruat Avram et Sarah Ishto. There Avram and his wife Sarah were buried. Shama Kavruat Yitzchak et Rivka Ishto. That's where Yitzchak and Rivka were buried. Shama Kavruat Leah, and that's where I buried my wife Leah. Mikna Hasadeh, the the um, the the purchase of the field of Amara Sherebo and the cave that was in it, Me'ed b'nei Ched, from the people of Ched. Vayichal Yaakov l'tzavodet banav, and Yaakov finished giving his sons this this uh, less well and testament, this uh, this command. Vayasof raglav el hamita, and he collected his legs up onto the bed. Vayigva, and he just, he died. Vayasef el amav, and he was gathered to his nation. Vayipol Yosef al p'nei aviv, and Yosef fell on the face of his father. Vayif galav, and he cried on him. Vayishak lo, and he, and he kissed him. Vayitzav Yosef, and Avadav, and Yosef commanded his servants, Vatarofim, the the doctors, Lachanot at Aviv, to embalm his father's body. Vayichantu Harofim at Yisrael, and so they embalmed him. Vayimluulo arbaim yom, and there were forty days that were filled. Kikain yimluu yimei chanutim, because that's how long it took to do this this embalmment process. Vayifkuotel mitzrayim shivim yom, and the whole Egypt mourned for Yaakov for seventy days. Vayavru yimei bechiato, and so the days of his crying passed. Vayidaber Yosef al beit. Parley more, and Yosef spoke to the house of Paro, saying, "Imna matati chayim be'inacha. If I find favor in your eyes, darbuna be'oznei b'nei Paro lemor. Speak now in the ears of Paro, saying, Avi hishbiani lemor. My father made me promise, saying, Hinya nochi me. And behold, I'm about to die. Bekevri asher kariti liberetz kanan in the burial place that I dug for myself, or that I purchased for myself in the land of Canaan. Shama tikbarini. That's where I want you to bury me. Va'ata and now ele na." Um, I want to go up, please, back Baratzavi, and bury my father properly, Vashuba, and then I can come back. Vayomer Paro, and Paro said, Ale, go up, Ukvaratavicha Kasher Hishbiacha, and bury your father the way he asked you to promise. Vayal Yosef, and Yosef went up, like Baratzaviv, to bury his father. Vayal Luito, Kol Avde Paro, and Paro's servants went with him. All Paro's servants went with him, Zikne Beto, the elders of his household, Vachol Zikne Eretz Mitzrayim, and all of the elders of the land of Egypt. Vachol Be Yosef, Echav, and the whole house of Yosef and his brothers, Ubeit Aviv, in the house of his father, Rak Tapam Vitzonam Ubekaram, Azvu Beretz Goshen. Only their children and their sheep and their cattle they left in the land of Goshen. They didn't take every everything and everyone with them, just the people who were necessary to escort um, to escort the body. Vayal imo gam rechav gam parashim, and he took also um, chariots and horsemen. Vayhiya machanek haved maud, and it was a heavy camp, like a lot of a lot of people and animals were going. Vayavo ad Goran Hatad, and they came to a place called Goran Hatad, Asher Beivariyardin, that was on the Transjordan. Vayspedusha mispeit gadol the kaved maod, and they had like a funeral service there of eulogy, very uh, intense, heavy, big um, hespeid uh, eulogy. Vayas laaviv evel shivat yamim, and there they did a shiva. They had like a seven day mourning period. Vayar Yoshev haaretz hakanani et haevel the Goran Hatad, and the people who were in Kanaan, they are observing. Um, this morning process in Goran Hatad by Yomru, and they said, Evel Kaved Dela Mitzrayim, this is a very serious uh, loss to Egypt. Al Kain Karash Shema Evel Mitzrayim, and they called this place the the grief of Egypt, Asher Be'ever Hayardin, that was in the Transjordan. Vayasu Banavlo Kain Ka'asher Tzivam, and his sons did for him what he had commanded them to do. Vayisu Oto Banav Arta Kanaan, and his sons carried him to the land of Kanaan, Vayibru Oto Bimrasei Machpela, and they buried him in the cave of Machpela. Asher Kana Avram et Hasadel Achuzak Hever, and then Avram had bought as a field of a holding burial made Ephron Achiti Al Pnei Mamre, went from Ephron Achiti in the face of Mamre. 
Vayashav Yosef Mitzrayma, and then Yosef returns to Egypt. Hu ve'achav v'chohel limoto, he and his brothers and everybody that went up with him, like Borat Aviv, so they had like a big entourage to bury his father, Yaakov. Acharei kavrot Aviv went to be buried Yaakov. Bayeruachi Yosef ki made Avihem. So um, the brothers of Yaakov saw, of Yosef saw that their father had died, okay, and what are they worried about? Vayomru, and they said, Luis Timenu Yosef, we're worried that now Yosef's really going to hate us, like maybe just because Yaakov was alive, he was being nicer to us. Vashiv Yashiv Lanu et kol ha-ra'ah gamal nu al oto, now he's going to pay us back for all of the bad things that we did to him. Vayitzavu al Yosef lemor, and they commanded to Yosef, saying, Avicha tzivalath me moto lemor, your father commanded before his death, saying, Kotom ruli Yosef, this is what you should say to Yosef, Ana sana pesha achecha. Please forgive the sins of your brothers. Vechatatam and their and their transgressions. Kira agmalucha. They did bad to you. Vaata. But now sana le pesha avde elokei avicha. Please forgive to the servants of the God of your father, because we're God fearing people. Vayev Yosef bedabram elav. And Yosef cried when they said this to him. And their brothers also went forward by and they fell before him by Yomru and they said, we'll, we'll make ourselves your slaves. They like humbled themselves to him. By Yosef and Yosef said, don't be afraid. Am I instead of God? Like, is it my job to like mete out punishment? You thought you were doing something bad to me. You planned bad against me, right? He wasn't naive here. He knew that they were doing the wrong thing. Elokim Tova. But God had had good plans for me. He he had he was thinking for the good. Because look, he he brought me here to this day to make sure that a lot of people would be able to survive the famine, right? The Atta. And now um, Altira, um, don't be afraid. Anochi achalkel etchem etapchem. I'm going to um, support um, and sustain you and your children. Vayinachem otam, and he comforted them. Vayidaber alibam, and he spoke to their hearts.